Welcome to Ballet Met's Director's Point of View. I'm your host, Brett Johnson. In each episode, we get to talk to Ballet Met's Artistic Director, Edward Liang, about the upcoming Ballet Met performance. This time, we talk about Peter Pan. Let's get started. Peter Pan coming up February uh, 10th through the 12th at the Ohio Theater, uh, talking with Edward Liang. Let's talk about why you were drawn to this performance. There are a lot of Peter Pans available uh, to, to perform, but what caught your eye about this? What, what made you think that uh, Ballet Met uh, could do uh, a great job with it? Um, I think programming for Ballet Met is... <laughs> it's it's not as simple as I think um, you would think that it is or that I even assumed when I first took on the role. Um, You want to make sure that you have enough dancers and the production uh, was choreographed for a company similar to the size that Ballet Met is um, or that we are able to facilitate more dancers with the academy or so on. Two, that the sets and costumes fit in the theaters that we have here in the Ohio Theater and the Capitol Theater. And believe it or not, um, there's not that many productions that fit the Ohio Theater. Um, even though we, the Ohio Theater is m- just spectacular, and we're so lucky to have it, and we're so lucky to be able to perform in the Ohio Theater, is that it's still smaller than most performing art spaces um, nationally, and especially for the productions that I'm interested in, um, a lot of them won't fit. So I need to find productions that not only fit in the Capitol Theater and the Ohio Theater. And then, of course, the most important is that I want to make sure that the production has heart and has something for everyone especially these full lengths that I think are family friendly Um, I don't want it just to be family friendly I want it to have a beautiful story Um, the sets and costumes will transport you and Michael Pink is has been choreographing for decades upon decades he's a veteran choreographer and has worked all over the world Um, I first saw his work in uh, 2000 in Norway actually and he did a Giselle that was um, a little different than most Giselles it was um, it was I think the the premise was in a Nazi concentration camp and um, it was just absolutely heartbreaking and I've seen his Dracula But what is really special about his Peter Pan, and there's, again, like you said, there's many productions of Peter Pan out there. Um, I was just particularly drawn to the heart of it. I I loved how he um, really was able to tell the story and get the real premise and the underlining story and relationships of Peter Pan and what's incredible about every sort of children's story is that it's multi-layered and there are layers for children and there's layers for the adults for to understand and take in and what i love about his choreography is that it's very inspired and i know that this is something for everyone there's moments of so much humor there's flying there it's imaginative and yet at the same time there's moments that are just absolutely heartbreaking um and that's what you want for ballet and that's what you want for coming to the theater is that you want to be inspired and transported and um just it's amazing when you go into the theater and you walk out and you feel more alive than you ever have. It's a good aspect of taking a look at that. And I, I love the, um, and we've talked about this 
over the years doing interviews about the storytelling piece of it and really grasping onto performances that has that storytelling aspect that it goes to different layers of the audience, different age groups, to be able to, like you said, grasp onto something and pull them in to be intrigued by that style of dance that's going on, whether it's a triple bill or, you know, we know Peter Pan, and, and but coming in and going, wow, that's Peter Pan. Exactly. And, you know, I think that, you know, as an organization and as, as we're moving forward, we're tackling more complex productions. And that's why we're at the Ohio Theater um, for this production is because I can't wait for the curtain to go up when the audience sees this massive ship on stage and people are flying there's battles it's it is just um it's fun and it it's everything that i imagined peter pan to be if i wanted to buy a ticket and come and see and be transported to this never never land um and so these, this is, it's not an easy production to put on. We're breaking down our performance space. Ballymet is very lucky to have a performance space in a black box theater of our own. And we're take, breaking down all the lights. We're um, making it a little bit more sparse because ZFX, a flying uh, company, will come in with their specialists with rigging. Um, and they'll teach the dancers and they'll set up half the ship in the performance space so they can rehearse flying from the ship to and while they're battling and flying and sword fighting and it's it's a logistical um, spreadsheet let's just put it that way and um, while we're also teaching the choreography making sure that the dancers are comfortable with sword fighting to the costumes but that also is the fun of being a dancer and an artist. If you talk to, I mean, we're very far from Hollywood and we're very far from doing what movie actors do, but the two things that meet and that are very similar is that these artists come into work and they get to play all day long and become someone else and Everything that we loved doing when we were a child for hours and hours, um, these artists get to do it for real and get paid for it. And this is their career. So um, it's, it's very exciting. It's very exciting to be able to do things like that. And then at the end of the season, we have Romeo and Juliet, where they get to do something completely different in, in the story and inhabit a different character. So... The dancers at Ballet Met love to be able to inhabit a character and tell a story. That's, I think, where they thrive the most. I have a feeling, the way you're describing Peter Pan, the company has probably been chomping at the bit to get into this performance. I think that, you know, truthfully, is, is that little bits of chomping at the bit and little bits of hesitation because... Um, there's some dancers that have had the experience of flying, but I don't think that they've experienced this amount of flying where they're going to be flying for three weeks with CFX practicing real co- Like I mean, it's one thing to like just fly around and do some poses, but there's real choreography while they're flying. And um, let's just say a couple of the dancers have... <laughs> <laughs> they have a, f- a fear of heights. And so I, I think it's it, their game, but there's some people that are, are definitely, a, it's a little bit of um, a mixed bag of feelings. Well, this might get their fear of flying over with, but I would think once you're harnessed in and do it a few times and trust the company coming in to do it, I, hopefully they can jump into it. <laughs> yeah, you know, and... The fun thing is, as an artistic director, I get to live vicariously through my dancers. And I can't wait to see their faces and not only fear, but excitement. And it's it's really such a pleasure to be able to offer a wealth, I think, is a wealth of different 
repertoire and that you know their careers go by very quickly and that i you know the whole organization really wants to be a part of their career and hopefully be able to not only bring the community a wealth of different experiences in theater to see but my dancers to grow from each production now i'm assuming in the back of your mind you're thinking i'm probably going to have to show them how to do this have a little fun <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> or a challenge going on, possibly? I, I, I hope not, but I, I think that I'll be very happy just watching them. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. I know we will be, too, in the audience. Looking forward to this. Again, Peter Pan, uh, February 10th through the 12th. Very short run uh, at the Ohio Theater, but well worth the wait and, and um, anxiety right after the holidays be prepared uh to take a look at this and and uh, uh enjoy the show uh, again thanks for talking with me thank you so much thanks for listening to ballet met's director's point of view since 1978 ballet met has brought incredible dance to theaters studios and classrooms in central ohio and beyond for more information about ballet met and this performance and to purchase tickets go to balletmet.org there you'll find all the social media connections as well And be sure to subscribe to this podcast in iTunes or your favorite podcast player.